Right. So it's part N. <laughs> I don't know. Can anyone remember what part we're on now? Part N. I think it's part five or part six of the Ultrabook Trio test tonight. Da da da. It's the Z830, the Asus UX31, and the Acer S3. We've done a whole bunch of tests. We've done some battery tests. We've done some noise tests. We've done um, overviews. We've done boot up comparisons. Check those out in the previous parts of the videos uh, on the channel. The YouTube channel is uh, Steve Chippy. Ultrabooknews.com is where we're doing these tests. Ultrabook News on Twitter and Facebook. Um, Ultrabook News is the is the channel on Facebook. Check us out. All right. So to start with on this part, we're going to do a coming out of standby test. So all of these devices say they have fast return from standby and it's a pretty key feature of an Ultrabook, right? To be able to just lift the lid and have yourself connected and working within five seconds I think is is, is, is a major advantage and uh, obviously a lot of it's due to do with the SSD but there's also some special things that go on in the background to try and um, reduce the amount of time it takes to co to come out of sleep. So let's see if we can get all these three. I can't unfortunately get them all on the screen at the same time, but see if we can get them all to come out of uh, sleep at the same time and see how long it takes. So I'm just going to do three, two, one, go. And we have the S3, the Z830, and then the S3. So that is uh, what I see most of the time. The S3 comes out super, super quickly before you've even lifted the lid up. It's there. It's under one second, and I think that's because everything is stored on that uh, that flash that comes with the hard drive Z830 is pretty quick there I don't know why the S3 was a little bit slower but I will say I haven't optimized the instant on it, even having said that it's pretty quick without having optimized the instant on so let's say all of those were within three seconds all of those were, were pretty good I think your money will vary based on how old your devices are and how much software you've got uh, and how much how many how much um application level support the manufacturers um provide for reinitializing this sort of fast boot, fast boot process and reoptimizing it so anyway there's the uh s3 let's go into the devices uh, one thing about the toshiba it does connect and show you it's connected on the home screen i don't know if you can see that there but on the right hand side there there's the wi-fi connected window which you don't get on the others so I put the same uh, backgrounds on all of them. What we're going to do now, first thing I'm going to do though, is uh, just do a quick battery life um, check. It is 22.36. We did one five minutes ago, but just do it again. The S3 has 87% remaining. So it's 85%, sorry. So it's lost 15% in 50 minutes. The UX31 has 89%. It's lost 11% in 50 minutes. And the Z830 has 87% still. It's lost 13% in 50 minutes. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try and run a video conversion we're going to do it, take a 1080p and we're going to put it through what's known as uh, Media Espresso from Cyberlink. This application is enabled uh, with the Media SDK from Intel, which means it uses the hardware subsystem for video encoding. It is um, arguably not the highest quality video encoding mechanism that you could find. There are software encoders that will provide you a bet with a better quality convert. So if you're a pro, you may not be interested this in this but if you're someone that does family videos 720p's maybe puts a lot to YouTube I think this is a very important aspect the hardware encoder on here really does speed up the operation um, so it's going to be a little bit a uh, little bit uh, difficult to set this up and get it all going at the same time but let's uh, let's see what we can do and in fact on the UX31 I might even have to I might even have to actually enable the application first so we might run it on one excuse the head one device first downloads 
do uh huh okay I haven't set this up very well at all the actual install fails on this one that's not so good contents of the file cannot be unpacked alright so we're just going to do it on this 3 then very quickly and then I'll run a second video showing you all three at a, at a later date so just to tell you what it's all about then Media Espresso what you do is basically you drop a file in and we've got a 1080p file here I'm just going to zoom in 1080p file here it's a true 1080p 30 frames oh no it's 50 frames a second to 1080p so progressive PAL and it runs at around 30 megabits per second and it's 180 megs in size 55 seconds long so what we're going to do is we'll do a sort of typical conversion to a media player and we'll take an Apple iPad profile although the 69 resolution of 1080p is probably not the best for that but we'll leave it we'll convert it to we'll leave it to do its own stuff alright all I want to show you is the speed up that you get so it's going to go away now it works out what the file is it works out if it can switch the Intel Media SDK on which it does hopefully now Dunk, there you go and now it starts to re-encode the file remember this is 183 megabytes of file uh, 30 megabits a second 50 frames a second frame rate and it's gonna get that done in probably about 30 seconds less than that actually this is the Core i5 uh, so it does have turbo boost and let's just uh, get that done, that was 29 seconds and that converted it to a 720p video of 4 megabits per second with a different audio rate as well so it converted the video and audio at uh, something like one and a half times real time which is pretty pretty impressive so uh, what I want to mention about this there's some really great tricks you can do with this so if you're working with 1080p what do you do you have trouble on these devices working on video editors with 1080p especially if you're doing a lot of um, cuts edits transitions etc etc so what you can do with media espresso if you're not too concerned about the quality is you can chop all those 1080p's down to 720p's or the output quality that you'd like to push up to YouTube and then you work in your video editor with those cut down files making it a much nicer experience and in Cyberlink uh, PowerDirector there's a nice feature called SVRT which if all your clips are in the same format you get to uh, render only the differences between the, the um, clips so really really speeds up editing so if you're a journalist on the go you want to push stuff up to YouTube this can be a really really nice uh, acceleration experience and compared to something like the fusion platform AMD fusion platform it is is in a different league compared to a netbook this is um, 4x 5x faster uh, and more um, I think it's a key key feature for anyone that's uh, doing video conversions for mobile devices and for doing quick YouTube style videos I wish I had set the other two devices up with Media Espresso but I will I'll do that on a separate video there's no point trying to waste trying to do that now and wasting uh, people's time in the next video then uh, what we'll do is I have got a game set up I will check it before I start the video and we're going to be testing what is the game what is the game um, I forgot what the game was now Just Cause 2 it's a Steam game it was out mid last year I think it'll be a good test because it's got a uh, benchmarking component to it so we'll get that up and running on all three and see what we can see in terms of differences right uh, ultrabooknews.com thanks for watching the ultrabook uh, live trio I think there's gonna be one more video on video on YouTube if you've been watching this thanks to people in the chat room we're gonna have a little uh, someone asked for Skyrim I don't think that's gonna work 
we're going to have a little Q&A now. Uh, if you're watching these and you think it's uh, got good value, make sure you watch parts 1 to part N. Well, I don't, don't know where we are right now. If you think it's got good value, hit the like button, please. It helps to enable more of these types of videos and it helps to enable us to get to more of these uh, devices in for testing. Thanks for watching.